Hi, I'm Robin Leach with those champagne wishes, and you're listening to Kitchen Chat with Margaret McSweeney. Good eating. Happy summer and happy fig season. I'm Margaret McSweeney, host of Kitchen Chat, and today we're going to make brandied figs, a recipe by Chef Paul Verrat, along with homemade ice cream. It's a great topping for your summer dessert. So let's make it. We have eight egg yolks, three cups of milk, which you simmer. This is for the homemade ice cream, as well as a cup of sugar. And we're gonna stir this in and whisk it away. And soon we are going to be ready to make homemade ice cream. I have not made this since my childhood. So I'm so glad you're joining me. The simmered milk is now at room temperature and we're ready to add the eight egg yolks. Now, just on a side, to make sure it's ready because you don't want the milk to cook the eggs, you have to make sure it is indeed at room temperature. I just kind of tested it on the side, a little bit of the milk and the egg yolks, and it is ready to add. So all we're going to do is to gently pour this in and stir. Then we're going to put it on the, the uh, stove again and heat it up. And we're going to add a teaspoon of vanilla to, to you know, add that extra flavor. And we'll heat it up again. We're on our way to ice cream and next we will make the brandied figs, a recipe from Chef Paul Verant's Preservation Kitchen Cookbook. While the ice cream mixture chills in the freezer, we're going to make the brandied fig recipe from Chef Paul Verant's Preservation Kitchen cookbook. Even though he gives instructions as to how to preserve the brandied figs, I'm instead going to use it immediately. So the figs won't have time to absorb the brandy, but it's still going to be a delicious combination. So what you do is you're going to mix the brandy and the water and the sugar and then we're going to boil this until the sugar melts and then we will pour that over the fig mixture. Now just a quick side about brandy. Typically you can get behind the counter a smaller bottle of brandy when you're using it for recipes. So let's start making the brandied fig mixture. While the figs were marinating in the refrigerator and the ice cream mixture was chilling in the freezer, I took my dogs out for a walk and now we're ready to start the process. So the ice cream maker is going. We will pour this in. This should take about 20 minutes. We're gonna pour the mixture in like that. And then we're going to boil down uh, the sauce for the figs and then let that come to room temperature and everything should be ready about the same time. Once again, the recipe for the fig, the brandied figs, is in this great cookbook by Chef Paul Verrat. So he uh, tells us to strain the figs so only the brandy sauce will come out and then we're going to reduce this and then add it back at room temperature. Okay, let's start it. I am so excited. The ice cream is ready. Look at this. If I can do this, you can do this. It is a bit time intensive and especially with mixing all the ingredients with the figs, but this is going to be such a delicious summer dessert as we celebrate the season of figs. So let's just stop for a second and add some of the fig topping like that. Just didn't it turn out beautifully? We actually reduced the sauce so it'll be thicker, almost like a candied feel to it. And now we are gonna sample the homemade ice cream with brandied figs. It's figgy-licious. Please try this. Figs are also a very healthy fruit for you, potassium and dietary fiber. So keep this in mind. Always remember to take a moment and savor the day.